What's up nerds? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a pretty massive unboxing from several different companies. Uh, some killer deals, some new products, all sorts of cool stuff you're gonna wanna see in just a second. Of course, if it's stuff you like, if you're gonna go pick it up yourself, maybe consider subscribing to the channel, smash that like, ring that notification bell because we do stuff like this all the time. And then we go fish it and it's a blast. You should also come hang out with us when we do our live podcast every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Love to see you there and talk to you in chat. Here are the brands that are up for play today. We've got Third Eye Fishing, we've got Guggen Squad, we've got some Carl's Bait and Tackle stuff, Biospawn, Nico Baits, it goes on and on. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So let's start out with a pretty insane deal that I got from Carl's Bait and Tackle. So they do this scavenger hunt thing kind of quarterly or every holiday. So I did the scavenger hunt, got a whole bunch of super clearance baits at like 65% off and had like a Carl's discount plus apparently credits on my account I didn't even know about. And they were running a deal where if you spent 25 bucks, you get a free set of plastics. I'll show you what those are in a second. It's actually a new bait I haven't tried before. And if you spent over $50, you got the Guggen Squad Mondo Kit. So I got free things and I ended up spending only $20. Check out what we got and let me know if this is like some sort of an unfathomable deal because to me it is for sure. Let's get into it. First off, let's hit some terminal stuff that I picked up. I ended up picking up these CUDA scissors for braid and uh, they're pretty teeny tiny, but awesome. Look at that. And they are like uh, titanium reinforced uh, blade on the scissors there. So it should hold up a little bit longer than other ones. But they're only like five bucks anyways. So I figured why not? And they fit into one of the little pockets in my life jacket really easily. And I've already used them a little bit on the water. They are sharp, they're fantastic. Even cutting like the super light pound test braid, they do a great job. So stoked for these. I picked up uh, some of the new Guggen terminal stuff because I really want to compare it to other terminal for your guys' sake and for my sake to see if it's really worth it, if it's up to snuff, right? Uh, the first one that stood out to me was these Bandito Bug specific flipping hooks. So you can see instead of that aggressive bait keeper off the back, it's actually just this little like light, I don't even know what it is, like monofilament line or something, little plastic bait keeper off the back, which is nice because as you guys know, like I love the Bandito Bug. However, we all agree like Guggen Squad baits are not very durable. So if I can set them up on this and not have that bait keeper just destroy them after a few flips, awesome. Cause then I can catch more fish. Also check out the angle of this hook kind of comes up and back. Very interesting, stood out to me amongst all their other terminal stuff as something I wanted to try, so I picked them up. Another thing I wanted to try because I just love throwing these style of baits around would be a weighted underspin, which is rigged weedless. So we've got the Guggen style ones. I've used VMC, Trocar, like a whole bunch of different brands of these. So now it's time to put these to the test. Obviously these are designed to go with their saucy swimmers. Those are their paddle tails. However, we're gonna test it with a bunch of different brands. I love this style where we got this wire coming down. It puts the blade a little further back near the paddle tail. Personally, that's how I like to fish them. So I picked this up, quarter ounce, you get to Let's see if they hold up, especially in comparison to VMC because they're close to the same price. Uh, and then Trocar, I think it's a little bit cheaper. So let's see how these handle in the water. Then I, uh, I tried to pick up some drop shot weights. These are the Mustad Tungsten. Uh, this is my favorite style drop shot weight. However, this packaging is absolute utter trash. So Mustad, what the heck? This thing just opened itself up. Look at that, it's just open right here inside of the box and unfortunately while in shipment two of the three weights fell out of the box and they're now in some usps truck somewhere i don't know uh i contacted carl's bait and tackle they actually gave me a six dollar reimbursement on my account that's nice now i have to go buy more stuff from carl's bait and tackle <laughs> clever clever you but we do have one check it out so it's just a little black tungsten weight now this style is my favorite like this gets through just about any cover. Obviously if you're around rock, tend to like go for more of a teardrop or the, the little ball shaped drop shot weights, that's fine. I'm mostly around grass, like at all times. So this is my go-to and quarter ounce is my favorite drop shot weight for sure. Tungsten, awesome. Gives you a little more contact sensitivity underwater. So you can really tell what you're going over in terms of cover. But kind of crappy that we lost a bunch of them to shipping. Next up is a bait that I want to compare to other jerk baits. So here we have the Guggen Squad, what is it called? The Scout, uh, which is their jerk bait. And packaging is 
pain in the butt. So I went for a perch, kind of holographic style. It's got a translucent belly down there. You can see that. Nice little rattle to it. It's a four to six foot diver. That is my go-to jerk bait all summer long. Suspending is fantastic. When you get those lethargic fish, especially post-spawn or in the heat of the summer, these are great because you can suspend it right in front of their face and these are supposed to, sus suspended, supposed to, supposed to suspend. Really hard to say that phrase. I don't know why. It's supposed to suspend <laughs> nose down. So it's gonna be like just this tantalizing little fishy that they wanna come up and eat, right? Perch is a fantastic color for our waters. I love fishing this color of jerkbait. So we'll see. I mean, again, I'm excited to compare it to like Six Sense, Rapala, we got some Mega Bass, uh, you know, Monster Bass. Like I wanna compare all of those things and kind of see what jerk baits really handle the best or what I, I love to fish the most. Okay, so then we did the scavenger hunt. We had five baits that qualified for the scavenger hunt. I'm gonna show you all of them right now. Here's the first one I have in three different colors now, uh, but this is a green pumpkin gold version of the tightrope. Look at that. So it's a nice little finesse jig. I actually love throwing like the Rattle and Ned from Guggen Squad or a Z-Man Finesse TRD, uh, Sakoshi Bug, Nico Leech, Nico Ned, whatever. Some Your favorite Ned bait of choice, go right here, right? Or even a mule fishing donkey tail, add a little paddle tail to it. And you got the Finesse ball head there. Green Pumpkin Gold, fantastic. It's gonna pop in the water. I've got natural waters around here that are clear to stained at best. We don't get murky waters much. So this is gonna do well, I think all summer long. And again, you do the scavenger hunt, it's super easy to figure out and they're like 55 to 65% off at that point. So you figure, why not? I'll add this to the cart. So it comes out to like $1.50 or some nonsense. The next one that came up on the scavenger hunt was the Rattlebot. I also have this in a few different colors. I have not caught a darn thing on a Rattlebot. However, now that I have three different colors, uh, bluegill, black and blue, and now this like magma color, which is that dark red, black splatter up on top. Pretty cool looking, I kind of dig it. I'm gonna have to just commit to fishing these until I catch something on them, honestly. Super cool looking design, very unique, kind of loud. I think the hooks are the right size for it. Uh, it. I mean, it has every reason to be successful on the water. Now we just need to have success with it. We'll get there. Again, basically free with the scavenger hunt. Also in the scavenger hunt, the Scout Junior. So a little two treble hook jerk bait, a little bit smaller, also suspending. Smaller jerk baits are great when you're dealing with finicky fish or in cold water. And sexy shad is the color, man. This is a fantastic natural color you can throw anywhere. I love throwing it on bluebird sky days. Seems to do me well. Pretty cool design. I always love that the Guggens have taken the time to go ahead and throw the, the diving depth or weights, different things of, between their terminal, their baits, et cetera, on here. So you never forget what you're dealing with. So three to five foot diver suspending, a little tinny rattle to it. I like it. Then we got two plastics. Uh, two plastics I've thrown quite a bit now. First one, Tickle Tail, coming up in my favorite color this comes in, Green Pumpkin Pearl. Now this is the full size Tickle Tail, it's 4.75 inches. You can do just about anything with these. You guys should have seen these uh, a ton at this point. This for me is a chatterbait trailer. Love throwing it on chatterbait. You can also shaky head these really well. I think that looks great. And anything you wanna swim around, you can throw this on. It'll work really well. And we got the Biospawn Exo Swim. Uh, other than the gigantic clamshell, I love throwing these. This one comes in Lab Magic. It's kind of a green pumpkin pearl with a little twist. So you got like some more flash to it, a little darker underside there. Fantastic for stained water. I have had some days on this color, some absolute hammer days where I've just thrown this on an underspin and just crushed it all day long. So I'm a big fan. These are great paddle tails. So all of that cost me less than $20 shipped and and i got two things for free the first one not too big a deal but i've never used it so we got the vile bug from biospawn which is a fantastic flipping bait comes in okeechobee craw i didn't have a choice on color it just came with whatever it came with however i'm excited to try it out so check this out so we break this off okeechobee is like this 
green pumpkin blue flake and then massive blue flake on the back as you guys can see there look at that look at the claws oh my god that's a lot of flash right there these are pretty cool designed um you know it's pretty thick up here so we can rig that on the flipping hook i mean it looks good it's gonna have a ton of action we'll have to test durability on the water i've never had a chance to use it so now i get a chance and it was free you can't lose with that what a deal. But probably the coolest free thing we got was the entire Mondo kit from the Guggen Squad. Uh, I've opened these before. I wasn't like the biggest fan in the world of this, but nonetheless, it's like a $30 box that you get for free. So, I mean, I'm not gonna argue with that. Worst case scenario, I'll just give it away to you guys. Where's me knife? Now these tell you exactly what's in it on the front. You can see right there, but let's take a look because I don't think the colors are specified. It's a mystery, get it? Mystery, mystery tackle box, you get it. Okay, we'll just dispose of this horrible cover and you get your generic box on the inside. We got a sticker and uh, a Neko, little sun mask. Gonna go ahead and not use those. Okay, so you get five things in this box. Right off the top, I don't think I have this color. So we got the mini banger that's in that ghost gill color. Pretty cool color, fantastic for the waters I fish, more natural waters. So this could work out really well. It's kind of a downsized square bill. I really despise the packaging though on these Guggen baits. It's like this double taped top section. Ugh. Okay, so there's our little Billy. Look at that. Lots of flash up top. Love the chartreuse on the back, like a little tracer around. Translucent underneath. There's your diving depth, one to four feet. And pretty silent, like a little bit of a knock to it. I mean, it's gonna do well. Square bills are great for just knocking around cover, so I dig it. Also, Paul's least favorite bait. <laughs> All right, then next up, this is going right into a giveaway just because I have this color like from other boxes in the past I've gotten a few times. At least I think I do. You're up here on the shelf. Well, look at that. I've got one right here, all trimmed up. So we got the filthy frog. It says eat me up on top. That's pretty much the part about the frog I like the most. And then other than that, I mean, they're they're well made. They're not super plush. They're pretty pretty tough frogs, which is great if you're getting like big fish. We just don't get them that much down here. So it's actually harder with these stout hooks and this less plush frog for me to hook up in Michigan than it probably is down south. Just saying. Not my frog of choice. Still a great frog. I already have one and I trimmed the tail on it. So I might keep this one and maybe offset them, do a little lopsided tail on this one and try it. Otherwise, I'll throw it in a giveaway for you guys on another video. Okay, cool. I can go for this. Next up, we got the Zinger, right? Zinger is a, a pretty standard spinnerbait. Um, not bad by any means at all. We love throwing spinnerbaits up here, throw them pretty much all the time. And white is a fantastic color to be throwing. Again, they keep the weights on there, so that's helpful. Three eighths of an ounce. Got the little band up here so you don't get knot slippage. Knot's not gonna slide down at any point. Spacers are good. We got the silver Colorado and the silver willow blade on there. Decent metal that they use for these. Nice hook, wire bait keeper down there. Boom, boom. And these are hand tied ever so slightly. It's a very, very limited amount of material there. So it's not tied extremely well. Um, if you guys have seen like a Z-Man spinnerbaits or jackhammers, like they tend to be tied really, really well. And that thing is going nowhere. If you guys have gotten any Super K jigs, you know that they tie these skirts on like it's Fort freaking Knox. The skirts are going nowhere. This skirt is going to die for sure. However, I do like the color a lot. You can always tie on a new skirt yourself, etc. These are definitely decent spinner baits and it'll go in my spinner bait box. I'll be using it for sure. They included an awesome trailer for it, which is really cool. So we, I, I actually just picked these up because this is a newer color, but it's the downsized saucy swimmer. So we've got the 3.3 inches, and this color is called White Pearl Shad. Downsize, tons of action on this. Could be a good trailer for that spinner bait, and also for this next bait, which is a swim jig. Check this out. So this is a Grass Hero. It's coming in chartreuse and white. Another killer color combo. So I don't know if I just lucked out on the color combos or what, probably. Check it out. So weights on the bottom, glare there, but it's 3 eighths of an ounce. White chartreuse skirt, again, hand tied ever so slightly. I appreciate the little translucent guard there, the weed guard. Uh, a not too stout hook on here, which is nice. Being as a lighter weight, that makes sense. And swim jigs are fantastic. When in doubt, this is something I like to throw out there and see what happens with. So killer combo, I dig it. That was a lot. 
I got all of that for 20 bucks. So pretty sure you can't beat that deal. You let me know the best deals you've gotten from any fishing company you want down in the comments below. All right, guys, next up, our friends over at Third Eye Fishing decided to send me a little care package. Uh, they said, don't worry about posting this. And I said, that's what I do, bro. So I'm gonna post it. So I threw it into this video here, but I wanna show you some of the stuff that they sent me that I'm really stoked about. Uh, First of all, you guys have seen us unbox the Dojo Ned before. In fact, this color, I think, is one of them that we had. So that's green pumpkin, blue flake in there. The Dojo Ned has a ton of action. It's actually one of my go-to baits. Killer on drop shot. Great on any sort of Ned rig setup. Obviously, that's kind of what it's made for. Also really good on jigs. So there's a lot that we could do with this. I want to show you two other colors that I got, though. Because that green pumpkin blue, I've already been throwing that around for a little while. Paul gave me one but check these two out. So we've got this juicy, juicy morning dawn. Look at this thing. All that blue flake up in that purple there, down to that crazy pink section. Dude, these are money. Look at the action that you're gonna get out of this too. Don't even have to move. So underwater, it's fantastic. Threw this one around the other day, got some bites on it, pretty awesome. And then my favorite color, green pumpkin pearl. Look at that. I don't think I have any green pumpkin pearl Ned baits. So I'm excited to try this one out. This will be up front in the boat, ready to go very soon. We're gonna go test it out. There you go, Dojo Neds, boom. Next thing I'm stoked for is the Samurai Swimmer. Look at this thing. So I was pretty jealous. Paul did the order for Third Eye for us when he did that unboxing and he didn't wanna share any of these with me. And I don't blame him because these are sick. I've never seen a paddle tail like this. Check this out. Um, also winner of biggest clamshell packaging ever. Okay, check it out. What? <laughs> it just got, I mean, it's called the samurai because there's like this samurai sword coming out the back of that paddle tail. So it's just extending that action from the tail. Uh, I have no idea how well it's gonna do, but I sure as heck am gonna be throwing this on an underspin as well as uh, swimming around on some weighted hooks, Texas rig, etc. I'm gonna fish it a whole ton of different ways, but it's pretty awesome. I'm very intrigued by this design and the fact that this clamshell opens like a book. Also interesting. Color isn't listed on here, so I have no idea, but it's some sort of shad color, like a smoky shad. So it's probably gonna do really well. And finally, from Third Eye, we've got this Nico rig kit. Now this is dope because it has their very specific craw in here that is made for Nico rigging. Check this out. So in this kit, you get everything except for a tool for these bands. So I'll have to figure that out. But you do get spear point hooks, Great little Nico hooks right there. Good size, like a one-aught, two-aught. You get a Nico weight. It's a little lead screw weight there. Your craw, right? Which has a spot for you to put the band over the bait so you don't have to like shred the bait up. Look at the action on this thing though. Claws going crazy. Little antennae. Look how long the antennae are on this. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. So obviously you would take this weight, you screw it into the base here. Just gonna go ahead and do it because I'll fish this anyways. Sometimes you get like a Nico plastic that just doesn't hold the weight very well. So I wanna test this out real quick. There you go, look at that. So you put your weight in there just like that. You end up with this craw in a defensive position underwater. It's gonna float pretty good if it floats anything like the Dojo Neds do. You're gonna wanna have a tool for the band. Now I do have one that I keep in my boat at all times. You guys can pick them up at Bass Pro or wherever for like five bucks. So I'd recommend throwing the band over it and then just take that Nico hook and you just rig it up in there. Hop that baby around, bass comes up to check this out. They're gonna bite down on this. Now I like to go hook point up. You know, I've seen it like every way you can think of, sideways, forward, whatever. The hook point up for me, like that's how a bass is coming down to eat. So that makes the most sense. You guys tell me how you rig your Nico in the comments below. But I'm excited to try this out. Green pumpkin, so you can't go wrong. And finally, my boy Scott hooked us up over at Nico Baits. Look at this, just a fat book of the leech. Hands down, best Nico bait that there is. I'll fight anybody who says otherwise. The leech is legit. Uh, perfect for drop shot. We throw it on a net up here as well. Does great, and I can catch anything on these. Love them, love them, love them. Here's the colors he sent me. I'll start with the ones that I've, I've used before. Boom, morning dawn. I was in dire need of more of these and I am so stoked to see this. Oh my gosh, these are fantastic. Gotta love that. Morning dawn's one of my favorites. I've also got like the newer chartreuse color. 
I've actually had a chance to throw these around, caught some decent bass on these actually on drop shot just the other week. They're fantastic, they really pop in the water, especially if you've got dirtier water that you're dealing with. New color wise, I don't think we got this bait. I think we had the Helgramite. Here's the black Aurora. These things are insane. So it gets like kind of a different color depending on like where the light is going through this. So it's kind of a color changing bait. Um, these are dope, lots of flash to them. Check it out. Boom, tons of flash in there. You get like this gold and blue flake as you guys can kind of see there. Again, it's Nico baits, so they're hyper stretchy. Probably one of the most durable baits I've ever used, uh, even a little more durable than Z-Man. And they're biodegradable, so these are actually better for the environment, for the fish, than most other baits you're gonna see. Then we get this, which is just called Aurora. So instead of Black Aurora, it is Aurora which is kind of like this glacial white. It's awesome. This I can see, oh yeah. It's got a little flash to it, a little flake in there. This I can see being like a go-to drop shot bait for me. It's one of my favorite types of colors to throw around. You guys know if I've been throwing around like the Mule Minnow, uh, it's in white. The Mule Minnow has been crushing it for me, so I expect to be throwing this around as well. And then, Green Pumpkin. And as Scott said so lovingly in his letter, when he was explaining why he sent me these colors, green pumpkin is green pumpkin. <laughs> it just works everywhere. Most of these Nico baits did not come in green pumpkin before. There actually was a special run of color that they did. And check it out. It is a stellar green pumpkin. Absolutely will get the job done. I'm excited to use it. The leech, do not sleep on the leech. Not expensive compared to, I know a lot of people complain about like the craws from Nico. These are way cheaper. And if you're spending, let's say seven, eight bucks on a bag of these in a bag, you get five and it should last you roughly six months to 18 years. So it's gonna last a while. They work really well. Those are a lot of baits. So pretty big unboxing, I know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you got some ideas maybe for your own tackle collection or things you wanna go test out and try on the water. If you guys have ideas for other unboxings we should be doing, bait companies we need to check out the works, let us know in the comments below. And as always, be sure to subscribe, smash the like, and ring that notification bell. And we'll catch you on the next episode. See you guys later.